Welcome to part 20 of Maryland's Pokemon Diamond Adventure. Finally, we've arrived in the next city, Veilstone City. Uh-oh, looks like we got some trouble here. Since these guys don't want you playing in their playground, you'll have to wait until a little later before you can do anything with them. Don't mind them for right now. Let's take this opportunity to heal up your Pokemon, which you're probably much in need of. I'm just going to cut out the whole scene in the Pokemon Center, since no one really needs to see that anyway. There's nothing exciting in here. That dude there talks about all the different gym leaders. Theoretically, at this point, you could go south to Pastoria City and fight Wake, or the gym leader down there, Crash or Wake. And, but you're better off just going up here. This gigantic, massive building, there's nothing in it really for you right now. But, let's just say you'll be back. It's the gigantic galactic building in Failstone, because they love big buildings. Uh, this house here has some people babbling nonsense that seem to think that Shellos is some proof of a split continent or something. I just think it's because people on the west side give different colors or color food to their Pokemon or whatever. These dudes in here are talking about Team Galactic, that big building right next to their house. But now here's the really exciting thing. Well, one of the really exciting things about Veilstone City, the department store. Much like the department store in Celadon City of Fire Red, Leaf Green, Red, Blue, and Yellow, and the department store in um, Lily Cove City in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And I think there was also one in Goldenrod City in gold, silver, and crystal. You know, they sell a whole ton of stuff here. Pokeballs, Ultra Balls, all your healing items, like Hyper Potions and stuff. Hyper Potions are, like, my favorite potion to be using. You probably don't need them this early in the game, though. Talking to this girl here at the counter doesn't give you the TM counter. Doesn't. It's not a move tutor counter, but she gives you the counter Pokech application for your Pokech. Um, here are these X items that I don't really recommend buying unless you're on some speed run. And then the second girl there at the counter, she sells all the vitamins and stuff. The, the ladies at the, on the right side of each floor, they tell you kind of what's for sale on that floor and say stuff. Uh, up here on the third floor, there's a whole ton of TMs for sale. Uh, it doesn't tell you directly what their names are, but it does tell you their effects. Nothing here I'd really recommend for you right now. These moves here, uh, for the, the one on the bottom side, they are, you know, like Blizzard, Hyper Beam, um, Thunder, you know, those inaccurate moves that don't work too well, and I don't recommend those for your in-game battles. Um, in fact, not even for competitive, except maybe Focus Blast. Uh, up here are some items for sale for your secret base underground, in case you want, like, dolls and stuff. Uh, let's see. This dude tells you what to do. Quick balls, you know, I think you can get those fairly soon, but they're good for, uh, catching Pokemon on the first turn or so. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, this dude gives you a sticky barb. I'm just rolling my eyes. And I'm not going to pay any attention to what that first guy said. I don't believe they can put this kind of stuff in Pokemon games. Alright, this here is a vending machine. It'll spit out fresh water, soda pop, and lemonade. I strongly recommend buying a whole ton of lemonade if you can. You can only do one at a time, but it heals like 80 hit points. And it only costs you, I think, like 350. Yeah, 350 Poke Dollars. So it's better than a Super Potion and for half the cost. Stock up on as many of these as you can because they're really handy, especially at this point in the game where 80 hit points is like, you know, should be around your Pokemon's maximum. I mean, it's just, just great. Stocking up on those is great. Well, I'm pretty sure that concludes the tour of the mall. If I can get down that escalator. Someone made a really good point. Isn't it so funny how these escalators are two-way escalators? I mean, notice how one escalator 
can take you both up and down. That has got to be confusing for people that are trying to, you know, climb up while you're going down or something. I just found that funny. Now, believe it or not, there's actually a lot more for you to do in Veilstone City. There is a gym in this town, but there's something also very fun here, the Game Corner and the prize exchange buildings right south of the Pokemon Center. In order to get in here, though, you have to have the coin case. Otherwise, well, you can get in without the coin case, but you need the coin case in order to play the games. Uh, talk to this guy first on your way there. He'll give you TM63, which is Embargo, which you will not want to teach your Pokemon right now. It might be good in competitive battling, but do not use it in-game. It's really bad. Uh, this house right here, the first one, talk to this girl here, and she will give your Pokemon a massage, which helps increase their happiness. Um, I'll give Gojira a massage. Why not? That's a weird sound. Why was Gojira holding a peculiar spoon? I I, I don't want to know. I I'm I don't know. Um, just uh, yeah. She'll give you items for uh, contests and stuff after you give Pokemon a massage. In here, this is where you get the uh, coin case. You gotta guess which hand. The <laughs> a winner is you. A winner is you. I love this. They're using internet references. It's so great. They use you know these really bad English references in their dialogue. But yeah, that's where you get the coin case. And once you have the coin case, you can go back to the game corner. You can actually play some games, like a slot machine. They got rid of like I think I think they got rid of the card flip game, but. They did do some improvements to the slot game. Talk to this guy here, and he'll give you 20 coins for free. And this dude here, he'll even give you some coins too. You can get 70 coins for free this way, but that's the only kind of coins you'll be getting for free. You can buy them for, uh, oh, let's see, I think it's 5,000 Poké Dollars for 100 coins, 50,000 for 1,000 coins. In here is where you can exchange your coins for prizes. Now, this is not the same currency as Poké Dollars. This is something entirely different. Um, yeah. The, uh, but you can get some really good TMs that way. That's where you get all the good competitive battling TMs. That and at the battle tower later in the game. Anyway, so down in the southeast or southwest corner of town is where the gym is. You'll find Dawn there. She was just kind of lurking about, stalking you like always. And she says that she's going to go check out the shopping center that you just went to. So when you're ready, head in the gym.